Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Atheists sometimes attack religion by saying it's a crutch for the weak-minded. They'll say, religion is for those who can't think for themselves. They need others to do it for them. There are two kinds of theists with regard to this topic. I'm not sure which is worse, the ones who can't think for themselves or the ones who choose not to. Let's do this. Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. Today we've got a fellow named Carlo Broussard, who is trying to debunk a claim that he unfortunately does not understand, namely that religion is a crutch. The purpose of the objection is to make the believer feel inadequate and create a perception that only atheists are among the intellectual elite. You really don't get to tell people their motivation for making an argument, especially when you've gotten this rather badly wrong. In fact, this is very backward. Telling people that religion is a crutch is a reaction, not a debating tactic. It's a moment of, are you fucking kidding me, and not a God does not exist argument. And this notion that it's somehow supposed to paint atheists as geniuses and theists as religitards, well, I'm not sure why I expect anything else from people whose patron saint is a martyr. You're not being persecuted here, and if you are, you're doing it to yourselves. So how should we respond? First, the objection is not an argument against theism. The conclusion, no God exists, doesn't follow from the premise, some people use religion as a crutch. We don't disagree on this point. Where we disagree is the purpose of the statement. You see, far too often when debating with theists, it becomes quite clear that there are things they don't understand or ideas they simply cannot handle, and they use religion to fill in the blanks. Prime examples include things like evolution or death without an afterlife, since both of these are unacceptable for reasons like ignorance, pride, or fear, and religion offers an escape from these emotions, these conclusions, the comforting lie is chosen over over the harsh facts. And those are merely two examples. Far too often, evidence is presented to a theist and, because it challenges their preconceived notions, their basic paradigm of existence, they reject it out of hand, without consideration, or even reject it in the face of incontrovertible fact. It's discovering this dishonesty, knowing or unknowing, that prompts the observation that some people are using religion as a crutch. It's not an argument against God. If it's an argument at all, it's about the inherent illogic of the thought processes used by believers. The atheist would have to give reasons why God doesn't exist for it to be an argument against theism. And this is the part where, once again, an atheist must point out that saying a god does not exist isn't required for atheism. If the number of gods believed in is zero, for any reason and to any degree, then that's all that's necessary to describe that state as atheism, even without explicit rejection of any gods. When I, as an atheist, argue against a theist, my points always lead to the same place, that your reasons for believing are factually incorrect and or illogical. That's why I don't believe and it's why you shouldn't either. Even if a god does exist, your reasons for thinking so are bad ones. But because some people reject this line of reasoning, and do so because, true or false, religion plays a role in their lives that they cannot willingly discard, they are described as using religion as a crutch. It's not an argument against God. It's an argument against their method of reason, such as it is. Second, even if some people use religion as a crutch, so what? The issue is not why some people belong to a religion, but whether the religion is true. No, actually, the reason they belong is very important, because they can't know whether it's true unless they did adequate homework to find out. When the religious insist on having faith instead of providing facts, they're engaging in gullibility. Even if they're right, they manage to get lucky instead of smart, and the available facts, coupled with objective logical analysis, would say they're neither right nor lucky. If you think the reasons you believe aren't important, you're part of what's wrong with the world today. Not just with religion, with just about everything. Third, a theist could turn the table and say atheism could be used as a crutch for those who don't want to submit to God. 
Have you ever asked an atheist why they're an atheist? I bet you'll find pretty much none who'll say their reasons for their non-belief is because they don't want to be your god's little Munchausen by proxy victim. If you're going to try to use atheism as a crutch as an argument against it, know that you're being dishonest when you do. An atheist cannot use atheism as a crutch against obedience to God and still be an atheist because they'd have to believe in a god to need a crutch. And finally, What's wrong with using a crutch if one is deficient? <laughs> you can't just hand me a straight line like that. I'd feel ashamed taking advantage of it. Come on, think before you say these things. If you break your leg, using a crutch doesn't suggest weakness. It's actually the smart thing to do if you want to get around. Unless, of course, someone decided to saw most of the way through it as a prank so it'll snap at some inopportune moment, or if it's made out of rubber, or for some other reason that it appears helpful at first, but turns into disaster because of its inauthenticity. And even if it looks like the smart thing to do, the fact that you need it most certainly suggests weakness. Notice how many of us are doing just fine without the need for a crutch. Are you really unable to walk on your own? As fallen human beings, we're broken. We're weak. Consequently, it's not unreasonable to acknowledge we need help from God in our journey back to Him. And if God doesn't exist, yet you rely on that fiction anyway, isn't that a bit dangerous if not outright foolish? This is why religion as a crutch is to be avoided. After all, allegedly God helps those who help themselves. So what do you need the fucker for? Be your own damn crutch if you really need one, or friends and family. No God required. So, a believer's appeal to religion for direction in life is not a sign of intellectual weakness. It's actually intelligent to do so because one realizes they don't have all the answers. You don't have all the answers, so just say God did it and forget about it, eh? A logical, reasonable person would say to themselves that they don't have all of the answers, so let's hold off on any conclusions until we've gathered and analyzed all the data in order to form a more proper conclusion. I mean, come on. What would you think if, when we encountered an as-yet-unknown problem, we just said, Ah, oh, Einstein did it, and went about our lives? Now try to understand what it sounds like when you say a god you cannot prove is real is responsible for, well, anything. No, really. Think about it. I'll wait. If you want to learn more about this topic and others like it, be sure to visit our website at No you don't. The only person who gets to pimp their shit on this channel is me. Become a Patreon donor. Hint hint. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Hey, this is a nice computer you got over here. Be a shame you didn't subscribe to Bionic Dance. I'd hate for something bad to happen to it.